Breaking testimony from Fort Gordon families on Capitol Hill today about how their homes on post made them and their families sick. From toxic mold, raw sewage dripping from the ceiling, our I-Team first showed you this video last summer. Senator John Ossoff grilling top Army leaders during today's oversight mission in Washington. Meredith Anderson has been uncovering these problems for us for a decade, and she's here live from the Capitol Rotunda. So, Meredith, what else did we learn from that testimony today? Richard, Laura, we got some big news today. The Army told us that we can expect construction to begin on a brand new neighborhood at Fort Gordon in the next 60 to 90 days. Now, this neighborhood, this news of a new neighborhood, that is not new news. The I-Team has been telling you about Pine Tree Terrace since April of 2021. But this update, this time frame, this rapidly approaching construction starting, that is a big update. Does Fort Gordon need new construction? Desperately. Senator John Ossoff and I were talking about that after today's session. And as much as Fort Gordon needs these new homes, Senator Ossoff says he is very worried about this. We'll get to that in just a moment. But first, obviously, the Army and some pretty top officials were represented at today's session because obviously we got this very big update. Also, two, three Fort Gordon families were present today sharing their heartbreaking stories. But noticeably absent from today's session, Balfour Beatty, executive. Senator Ossoff invited them, but as you can see, those two chairs sat empty today. A powerful reminder of some empty promises the company has made over the years to get this right. In the recent past, they pleaded guilty to defrauding the military. And in a 2019 interview with the I-Team, they promised they would be more transparent. Well, today, two mothers were brought to tears talking about how Fort Gordon homes affected their children's health. The wife of a drill sergeant talked about her four children, all under the age of 11, being sick the entire time they were in their home before they finally moved off post. Mom, I'm so tired. Mom, my head hurts. Mom, the, I, I got a bloody nose at school. The nurse had to help me clean up. Can, can we go to sleep now? Children of those ages want to be running around. They have an immense amount of energy. When mine were coming home, I'm tired. I just want to lay down. This isn't ultimately about what happens in rooms at the U.S. Capitol. It's about what happens in the bedrooms of two, three, and four-year-old children on post at Fort Gordon. And I can tell you that the military families all wholeheartedly agree. Richard, Laura, I spoke with all of them after today's meeting, and they said they leave today with a feeling that something is going to get better, something is going to get done. And they answered that question, the same one that I ask all three of them, without hesitation. So that really goes to show you that Senator Ossoff's involvement, be it from being at Fort Gordon last week when they started the first in the nation unit by unit inspections, and, and even today holding this session one year after his PSI hearing, after his investigation, families are seeing some progress for the first time in a long time. And so that is so important. And they are really holding on to hope that something is going to get done. Now, this is important, too, because when we were talking about this new construction, right, and I, I said that Senator Ossoff shared his concerns and some of his worries about that, he said that something came out in the session today when he pressed the Army and, and pressed them pretty hard, I might say, about, you know, how are we going to make sure that we are not in the same position with these new houses five years from now, ten years from now? And he said something that the Army had to say really made him stop and think that, you know, we need to do more to make sure that the Army is paying attention and that the Army is monitoring this company and monitoring the construction of this new neighborhood. We'll get into that a little bit more coming up tonight on News 12 at 11. But Richard and Laura, so much happened in this hearing today. And, and I just have to, to say, as a mother, hearing these two moms brought to tears about their kids being sick in their homes and feeling so helpless and unable to do anything about it, 
it was really hard to listen to, but it was really important that they say this in front of two important people in the Army, that this face-to-face -face meeting happened today because the Army is, is something, someone who can do something about it. These two people in there can do something about this. Certainly not what our military families deserve. And a lot of work yet to be done as those inspections are just getting underway at Fort Gordon and other places all around the country. Meredith Anderson live on Capitol Hill for us tonight. Meredith, thank you very much.